after you have submitted the registration application, it can be approved or rejected by tax official. Alternatively, tax official can raise a query and seek clarification. This video will guide you on how you can file a clarification to such queries raised by the tax official. To begin, access the GST website www.gst.gov.in. From the home page, open the Services menu. Click the Registration category and select New Registration option. Select the Temporary Reference Number option and enter the TRN that was generated on submitting Part A of the registration application. Enter the CAPTCHA as usual and click Proceed. This will trigger an OTP. Enter the OTP received and proceed further. Notice the status of the registration application shows as Pending for Clarification. Go ahead and click the Pending for Clarification link. The notice with the query raised by the tax official will be downloaded and displayed. Read the notice and note the application reference number ARN. Now you can access the registration application to provide the clarification using this ARN. Open the Services menu, click the Registration category and select Application for Filing Clarification option. Enter the ARN and click Search. The query raised by the tax official is displayed. Provide your response to the query raised. Provide any additional information that you may want to provide to the tax official. You can attach the document based on the query raised. Make sure the document is in PDF or JPEG format and of size up to 1 MB. Once done, verify the clarification. Select the name of the authorized signatory and submit the clarification using PAN-based Class 2 or 3 Digital Signature Certificate DSC in case of Company or Limited Liability Partnership LLP. But before submitting the clarification using DSC, the DSC needs to be registered using the Register DSC service on the portal. In case other than company and LLP, the clarification can be submitted using the e-sign or electronic verification code EVC option as well. Both these services are Aadhaar-based services and require you to have the mobile phone number registered with the Aadhaar database handy. In case of EVC, you will need to enter the OTP for authentication. Agree to the warning message which says that all your furnished information is subject to verification and scrutiny. Upon successfully submitting the clarification, an acknowledgement reference number, ARN, will be displayed as well as sent on your mobile phone number and email address. It's that simple.